And you make that same fifteen dollars an hour in Mississippi and Texas. In Texas, they ain't got no state taxes, so the quality yeah. of your life is going to be better. Huge. But fifteen dollars an hour in Manhattan, New York, you're struggling. Yeah, yeah, you're trying. You're, to eat. You can barely pay rent. Yeah. You know what I mean? The rent here is high in this state. I mean, and so they, and then, and then, like, when they create new jobs, you know, sometimes they, they're breaking new jobs into half, you know, part-time, part-time. They got to pay as much taxes on it or give people insurance. But now with the state insurance thing, you know, the Obamacare or the state insurance, so people can get around that. But still, the wages is, is for, I'm talking poverty level people, the wages is not enough for them to get out of poverty sometimes. Yeah. That's why you stay in a vicious cycle. Are you still any good at making people laugh? You haven't oh. made me laugh yet. Tonight. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you want to hear a joke? Yeah, you got one. Okay, you got yeah, a new one? Here you go. Okay. Ladies always say they want a man with a sense of humor, right? I've heard that. Sexy. Until they find his ass broke, then they need a sense of humor. <laughs> you don't like that one. It's too true, man. I don't know. So what? That's the truth of comedy. I know the truth hurts, so. <laughs> what it hurts about it? I don't know. So when that bill comes, she'd be like, uh, she be, he'd be like, don't stop laughing, baby. It's just a hundred dollars. What are you performing next? Um, the Corner Bar, October third and fourth. I don't know if this is showing time. And then uh, I'm showcasing in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh really? Yeah, I'm trying to get. What's the connection out there? Oh, uh, just trying to get representation for Last Comic Standing, and. Um, you got to be represented for that. Yeah, man, it's they. You got to know somebody. I hear they have them here locally. Nobody told me about them. I don't know. I don't know who. Who's supposed to tell you, man? Me? Man, no, I, I mean, know. I mean, I didn't. I, I wish they had like some type of auditioning board which you could see. I know see. I heard about the MC thing for the see, Timberwolves. See there you I go. I boys. didn't hear anything about that. All I knew about it was because some unfunny people I know came <laughs> by afterwards. People. They're supposed to be fine. I'm like what? No, I'm for the just, host of the Timberwolves. I'm saying. I called up KJ right away and it was too late. It's too late. Yeah, but what, what I'm saying is is that sometimes. Um, you have to be, I don't know, you have to be connected or something because like last season, a friend of mine, uh, or a guy I know, won it, Rodman. Rodman won it, and Rodman had been grinding for years. I mean, him, Nicky Carr, you know, they, they finished in the top three last comic standard, but they've been grinding for years, man. They've been hitting the pavement. These guys, I mean, you know, he's funny, she's funny, so they've been doing their thing for years. But, um, and another friend of mine, he came in second place. I went to college with him named Lavelle Crawford. He was living in L.A. didn't even audition in L.A. He went to Phoenix, a different city, and got on. And so I say that to say, in this city, I don't know how within the commu comedic community when they audition, where they audition, and how, is, how it goes down yeah. like that. I don't have that connection, and, and I wish I did, but, you know, it is what it is, man. Some people you know are connected and some people are not it's not a bad i mean i don't look at it as a bad thing because i just oh, it's a bad thing no we man. need to do more due diligence i need to do it too they <laughs> shot a wrestling movie in town i didn't even get to be in it. i expect people to call me up which is stupid but i thought somebody did call me up but i thought it was for a boxing film mm -hmm. but I, that they were doing but uh it was a wrestling movie being made at the exact same time as a boxing movie yeah they didn't so, like me on so the box. You, I was part of the, I go, hey, I'm actually part of the real story. I fought this guy for real four times. Oh, you did? That was in the, in the, in the, the boxing script. movie? <laughs> in the script? <laughs> yeah, was oh. weird. Like, oh, in the script? Oh. Yeah, it was the Jeff Warner story. I'm oh. like, well, anyway, back to the wrestling thing. Why didn't you get a call for that? Oh, for the boxing one? For the wrestling, or both. Because I never, because I did get a call, but I thought it was for the boxing one already, so I didn't go, so that was my own bad. But oh. I should, but I got to, you know what I mean? It's like, with the internet, all these different ways to get to get connected on different groups on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm just starting to figure out. On my, I'm start, my, my smartphone's way smarter than I am. I'm right. starting to figure out some. I'm like, whoa. It ain't that so, smart. Oh, it's smart. I just no, haven't figured this, it out. If the smartphone is so smart, it'll figure out how to pay that damn bill for it. <laughs> I know. We, we were smart enough to get that thing, get, help us get paid. Hey, we got to figure that out. Smart TV. I don't get that. Smart TV. Why they call it smart TV? 
if the if the damn thing is programming the remote control is programming what you watch i mean why you need why you even need the remote if it's pro if it's programming for you you call it smart tv you know if it's so smart let it pay the electric bill <laughs> if it's so smart i don't watch tv that much man i kind of checked out man i gotta tell you i've been uh I, any other shows you want to highlight before we bring our guests out any other shows yeah. on tv uh no, for you for me up? No, I just have the Corner Bar, October 3rd and 4th. Um, I just want to say on Tuesday nights, uh, I go to Shad G's room, friend of mine. Uh, he's on the radio, KMOJ. Uh, Tuesday nights, come down to the Corner Bar. It's, the Corner Bar is in the Seven Corner area over by the U, across the street from, I, I think it's Bullwinkles or something like Bull that. Bullwinkles. Yeah, Bullwinkles. So Classic. Tuesday night, about 7.30. Come down, support my dude, Shad G. He's a good dude, and uh, he's just trying to give um, mainly African-American artists. Or he doesn't really care, you know, the culture or, or race. He's just trying to give people opportunity to work on their craft, whether it's comedy, poetry. And uh, so that's usually every other Tuesday. You can uh, look on his page, Shad G, on Facebook or, cool. or my page. But other than that, um, yeah, man, that's... That's about it, man. Just really writing. Um, hoping to finish this book called The Late Night Poet. It should be coming out in probably two or three months, man. Two or three months, I'm going to drop this book. Yeah. Cool. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to, if I'm a self publisher or search out a publisher or whatever, man. But uh, I've just been in a serious grind. What's it about? Uh, it, uh, the Late Night Poet is it's about a collection of all my poems, my poetry, my spoken word, my haikus. Uh, it's about. Uh, it's just about that that philosophical deep thinking and lyrical thinking that I have, and I'm dropping. An, I'm about to uh, get with uh, you know Keith and uh, get in the studio and make a second spoken word CD. It's going to be called the the drug of art, the drug of art, and uh, yeah. So I'm just cool. I'm just in the lab. I'm in the grind house, baby. Cool. I'm in the grind house, you I know. I just had somebody watch my uh, film, my wrestling film. You did? My Update the Rough, and uh, I, I'm using it as a tool to get in to do a show. And, uh, and uh, Tell them about your film that we did. When are we going to win? I that's going to drop. I can talk about my feature until you always want to talk about the short. Go ahead. Talk about the feature. I was talking. I didn't mean oh, to interrupt you. Know you know what? Because I'm that, sorry. you got a point, and it's all coming, but it, it, and you look good. We just got to figure out where we're going to put that. But I got, anyway, I got the guy, I was thought he was going to watch it for 10 minutes. He wanted mm -hmm. to watch the whole thing. It was an hour and 10 minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, bam. So that was that was cool. But I also um, uh, had a wrestling show last weekend. It was a good time. And mm -hmm. uh, over at the uh, Bloomington show, and uh, the uh, Knights of Columbus Hall, we're showing, we, we, we're wrestling every <laughs> Last Friday of every month at seven. You were with Mitch, right? Yeah. The, the last show. Body Beautiful, me and Mitch Paradise. And right. He's a super gifted athlete. He's really funny. You know, he's got this dry country wit to him. So we did this big promo in the beginning where we got the belts. Mm -hmm. And then I was talking about all the gifts. He put the belts over for a bit. And then I was talking about all the opportunities mm -hmm. and gifts we've gotten. But my favorite gift of all, and Mitch, you haven't even seen this, comes from Body Beautiful's good friend, AP. And they, I go, and then I got the MC to, I, I go, Lazo, get your ass out here with the gift. So he does, and I'm like, open it up, Mitch. And he opens it up, and we got a couple of Vikings jerseys, and the right. people are all, but I go, Mitch, dig a little deeper. And he pulls out a couple of switches out of the box. I go, well, you know, we know <laughs> so what that, to do with these, because we used to do a spanking gimmick. That's the AP parody. <laughs> right, or, so or, our good or, friend, right, so then. So then, this is early. This is to set the whole show in motion. And then before our match, we're mm -hmm. going out. And Mitch is like, gosh, should we go out and talk? I go, I don't know. That promo went kind of long. Because everybody wants, one of the guys, one of the DJs from KDWB mm -hmm. has to go out. The, it's like everybody wants to be part of the deal. You know what I mean? So it's getting a little long. I'm like, God, I don't know. He goes, right. what if we let the people decide? Well, that's genius. So I go to Laszlo, the MC. I go, hey. I go, and I'm just whispering to him, I go, tell the people that although we're not the people's champions, we are the champions. And we're going to let them decide whether they want to hear us speak 
or whether they want to see us pose. <laughs> so it's hilarious. So you give them two choices, neither which they want to see. <laughs> you do, you know what I mean? So we're like, yeah, it's funny, you know. And that's Mitch is getting so good at the interactive yeah. side of it. Yeah. Give them a. It's coming out of the shell. Huh? It's just oh, it's such a delight. And that's I was good. Talking, so all I'm running yesterday, and I'm thinking about how I'm going to get them next time. Right. You know? Well, that's that's you exciting. Know? And then the matches with the matches and. They just keep getting better. A lot of, a lot of my friends from the club came out, and there's such such good people watching there. It's the Knights of Columbus Hall in Bloomington. It's one of my favorite shows I've ever mm -hmm. been with. It's like we draw like four or five hundred people, and you can drink That's and good. bring your kids. You have you, you bring out stuff. four or five hundred people. I should use you from when I do shows. Well, what we do with wrestling <laughs> is we build hot angles that go for the whole nine months and then take the summer off. Oh, I don't know how man. you guys can see man, the comedy. Man. Maybe you guys should I got to get a whole new fan base, man. You got to do one with you. I, I don't, don't know. know. It's like, how can you guys, you guys should heat on each other and go through play. Man. You guys are working the African-American thing. One of the no, things you I'm, guys own. Let me just finish here now. One of the things you guys kind of own, which I kind of love, are the dozens. You should do a little thing oh, with the dozens uh, matchup. Your mama up. contest? Oh my God! You know what I mean? With your the mama comedies. so big. And bring everybody she out. She need a bring double door up, to walk through. Heat it up and then have a little. <laughs> then have a little. The dozens champion. <laughs> your, <Bill>. mama, <laughs> your mama so big. She needed three kickstand on the bike. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? You know that is Your crazy. mama so. Your mama head was so big when she took a head shot. It went outside the picture. Oh. <laughs> Come on up. We got to you ready for it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> what's up? Right? What's up? Heat it up. Hey, what's up? What's, what's up? Good to nice see you. Nice to see you, too. You thank you, thank you. Let me get you the mic here. Mic you up. Let me mic you. You put that on your little thing like this. I got this. I got this. Mine well, slid sure off. Right I should take my jacket off. Oh, I'm wait, getting wait, hot wait. up here. Oh. It's good and hot up here. Okay. And okay. I want to <laughs> take off. I like your jacket too. <laughs> thank you, thank it's you. Presidential. We're gonna fix your oh, collar. Yeah, yeah, fix your collar yeah. for you. There you go. Is it? It's about eight bucks. GQ, you. It looks like. It's about hey, eight bucks. Let me bucks. help you out with that. Hillary looks. She wishes she looked that good. Oh, Ooh, Hillary. Yeah. It's yeah, about it's eight bucks. Cool. I got it from China. There you so go. I spent more money than the age of the person who made it, probably. Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> I got bad uh, jokes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She bashing on China to work at the, what they call them, the, the sweatshops. And stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Nike That's sweatshops. Playing in China for the children, and they get to play while they put their put our clothes on. Ooh, y'all. There's sweatshops in America right now. Really? Go to LA. We're at, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Go to LA, there's some sweatshops going on right ain't now. Enough but that ain't LA anymore. That's Mexico now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a difference between LA and Mexico? No, I didn't know that. No, that's like Texas. <laughs> I was just there. Ain't no difference between Texas and Mexico. <laughs> they just changed the name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm your, your mama jokes, right? I gotta, I gotta challenge you. I, no, 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 no. I gotta challenge you to a burn off. You how can't burn off with a comedian. How many jokes can we burn each other in a minute? I want to do it on timer. I, hey, if I lose, I lose. Nah. But if she's you calling you all. She she's calling you all. I'm timer and everything. I'll be the ref. I'll keep it for All right. First okay, of all, you got you gotta introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Oh. <laughs> you just hey, I'm Madeline Carita Fleming, uh, TV producer, actor, model. You can see my new show, Fresh Eyes, coming out. Um, what do you think what else? I do a bunch of stuff. I, I do everything. You just so did I'm paid really sure. actors, too, this weekend. Oh, I just did Paid Actor Magazine, too. I hosted that, and I did that event where I interviewed the amazing... Oh. And we had Amazing a good time. KJ? Yeah, we had a great time. I was Did cool. you get oh, paid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He no, I just chicken. dropped in. It was we just support. I was just supporting, you know. I got to ask this. That's great. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> paid actor. Paid <laughs> actor. It's an oxymoron around this town. It's an oxymoron in general. It's hard to, uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find roles. Let's just keep it moving. It's a thespian. Yeah. Thespian. It's a thespian. <laughs> I See, was at I the thespian club the other night. Oh, okay. <laughs> So. It was great. It was 50 chicks for every chick. <laughs> That's a Ryan and Angel for I was at a gay bar. It was great. It was 50 guys for every guy. <laughs> so you ready to do this? You ready. Whatever you well, want I to do. I got a timer. You can be the Get the timer. Oh, you want to do the timer? Let's see how many wow. we can do. Okay. Jeez. I'm afraid to challenge a comedian. If I lose, I lose. You want to go I, first? At least I did it. No, Are we I'm going back go and forth? We're going back and forth. Yup, yup. In a minute. We're doing your mama jokes. No, no, no. What are we doing? We're just going to do straight burns. What is Burns? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a you know, generation. It's the same thing, isn't what it? Is, it? But it's not about your mama. 
What is that? It's no, not it's more mama. personal. She ain't telling Tom or your mama. <laughs> ain't about the mamas. Mamas are sacred. She's going to tear. Sacred. She's going to rip the king of improv. She's she can't do that. She yeah, I'm down. I'm I know. She's See, challenging. the fact is that you're the king of this improv. This is the kind of stuff you need no, to do. No, man. This is the king of improv. I can't, I I can't rip on a lady. It's yeah, easier what? to rip on a guy. Well, then just oh, take your beat. Oh, that's sexist. Then you just can tell. Oh, that's man. sexist. This is 2014. No, but see. I want my equality. No, you can go ahead see, and in a comedy run. show, if I rip on a lady, if I rip on a lady in a comedy show, the, no, let, let me, me tell you what. Let me say the audience will turn. They will get mad at me, and she's gonna start her mouth, and they be like, "Oh!" And I'm like, "Yo, this bitch was talking love, and now when she, when I dish it out, she can't handle it." Yeah. Oh, oh, are you still? Oh, gonna, oh, are you still? Gonna, you see what I'm saying? Are you still gonna find? It. Are you still gonna find? Are you I would rather do your mama jokes. The important question is, are see? you gonna find him attract more attractive or less attractive after the burn if he kicks your butt? Um, As a man, that's what we want to know. I that's think it'd be exactly the same, probably. <laughs> it'd be uh, exactly that was the, the first same. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> it would be exactly the same. <laughs> it wouldn't be any different. It won't make no difference. It's a oh, challenge. I mean, am she, I going to have to get your ride up? You got one minute. You You better go. Go. I'm not even going to say it. I'm here. I'm The thing about this is you can rarely beat a woman at anything. And that's the lesson we're going to say. That's what I'm saying. I can't win. I can't win. I won't give you that. Okay, you first. You go. You go. You wanted to go. Yeah, you Five more seconds. Okay. Okay. Uh, and go. My guest would like his wardrobe back. Yeah, Erica Badu, Badu would like her hair back. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's that's funny coming from the dollar store Apollo Creed. That's all right. Your stock is just running too. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> Yo, so that's what happened to Action Jackson. <laughs> you, uh, oh, oh, Roxanne, Roxanne, I want to be your man. <laughs> you got the 1978 hip hop Afro pump, and you rocking it, girl. Oh, you rocking well, it. Well, let's not talk about it. You I got mean. a happy nappy. Nappy, <laughs> nappy. Man, she got a nappy, so, happy. Man, you so uh, old. Your first show, you opened up for Jesus. <laughs> A cold <laughs> man away from them <laughs> nasty <nasty-ass>. hair. Uh uh. <laughs> My teeth are falling out. My teeth are falling out. The cold thing. The cold, you, you know what I'm saying? A pick. You need a pick for that. That's the Afro part right now. You need one of them old black power pick. You know them black power pick? Where's your black power pick? Get your black power pick up there. Let me get it from you. Soul <laughs> brother number one. Home. Oh, look at something. You Give look me like, Didn't you you look like Angela Davis with a tan afro. <laughs> <laughs> it's tied I up. Mean, you, what did you she, look like Alfred? Weren't you her babysitter though? Who, me? Angela Davis. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm done. That's good. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. That's pretty, that's pretty now, good. Next time you know. <laughs> oh, next time I'm bringing, I'm bringing the good stuff. I'm bringing it. Like, <laughs> she, she's fine. That's good. I'll, I'll meet you again. I was, I this is the first time I had somebody challenge you me. Might, I know, you know, and you almost chicken shit it out of it, too. I had to like. I don't like to rip on women, man, because they get well, you sensitive, know I mean? man. She had fun. She had fun. She, she had fun. Too, you probably came up with a new joke or two, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Teeth fall, te- fall out of the comb. Uh, Thinking about that old school. That was a, that was a comb that... That, to frighten white people. I would have that comb still. If I could find that comb, I would have it on here right now. I would have got on the stage with that comb. She's got a pick. <laughs> she got a pick. You ain't using it no more. She got a pick. I got a brush, You, was, you got a brush pick. now. Did yeah, you see that? I couldn't tell if it was a skull or a fist, but I'm frightened. Yeah, and strangely aroused. Don't lie. Oh, I. Uh-oh. Don't lie. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Not strangely You're trying to get your all. Foxy Cleopatra on. Don't lie. Uh, Foxy. Cleopatra, yeah, you Foxy Brown. Yeah. Foxy Brown and Cleopatra yeah, right on the you, back of a phoenix, thank you. You Foxy Brown. Thank you. you seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen, seen all the movies. Not the new one. No, the, is Not there the a one, one with Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Is there a new one? No, oh, what yeah. we're talking about, there was two of them. There was uh, original. I don't know. I only know classics. There was the original one. It was Foxy Brown. Remember, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's it a movie co- connoisseur. It was yeah. Coffee Brown. Connoisseur. I would say more Coffee, Coffee Brown. Brown. See, it's, no, no, no. The craziest part is in college, I took African American studies. And I let my teacher, my teacher actually let me do my thesis on the psyche, the, the effects of uh, black exploitation movies on the psyche of the African American male. Was the sweets? Was so the ones? I, literally, it was my excuse to watch the black exploitation movies all day. Like, yeah. They had some great, you know what? Was, I got to tell you, those. Hollywood uh, yeah. Van Peoples. Uh, uh, Mario Van Peoples? Sweet ass. Sweet, sweet back or sweet, sweet back. Sweet yeah, back. sweet, sweet, sweet back, back or something like Sorry. that. Most of the movies, though, the posters were the best thing about Oh, yeah, movies, of course. You know? Yeah. No, 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 I like the trailers. The trailers are like, she's black. 
She got an ass. <laughs> That's what I ran that up. That's She's coming for that ass. Look at y'all, 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 look at y'all. You know, that was the day <laughs> of the funk groove. That was the day of the bass line right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't have a bass line. You wasn't shit. You didn't I have a theme song. I remember. I the remember, Capri uh, Theater, uh -huh. when I was a kid growing up, for three years, the only movie they had playing was A Hero Ain't Nothing But a Sandwich. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> For three years. What is that For three about? years. What is the hero I'm going to sandwich never, about? Yeah, I've never seen that one either. It wasn't that good to be like up there for three years, I, but apparently, you know, yeah. it was the name of her kids. I, they went every day. It was a cult. I was I was excited when uh, when I was growing up to see uh, Jim Brown's big rip off and and the lady came out there and we snuck in the movie theater we, it was like a 18 over 17 over we needed a pair but we snuck in there we was like Jim Brown big guy because we was a big Jim Brown's fan and lady, everybody was and the lady took off her gown and she was new we was like, oh. <laughs> Your balls dropped just a I like Black Caesar. I thought Black Caesar was Black the Caesar. That was, that was no, no, Shaft with, uh, Shaft, with yeah. what's his name? Shaft, Shaft, Round Tree. Richard, Richard Round Tree. Richard, Richard, Richard yep. Round Tree. Yep, the original Shaft. There is no other oh, Shafts. Right. I know the other one. Sorry, he was, the, he was the too old. Samuel Jackson was too old to play Shaft. That's all there is to it. I don't know if he was too old. It was more like he just 